Great marketing can be all it takes to get your sweet, sweet pre-order. This is where marketers earn their paycheck, and more often than not, they are taking it out of your pockets. Their influence comes from ensuring you forget major disappointments in their past or by selling you concepts rather than something actually plausible, like in most cinematic trailers. Even if your inner skeptic kicks in, that optimistic, more excitable part of your brain that just wants to believe may end up being too powerful. Many publishers are aware of this and use it to their advantage. Whether they're rushed to release or marketed as much more than they really are, it is gamers that end up getting burnt. These titles are ones that mismarketed themselves, one way or another, to get players' money. And like a bad Tinder date, malicious or not, they were all experiences that did not live up to what was shown. No one kept their dignity here. I am the spare showreel of Ash from What Culture Gaming, and these are 10 awesome video game trailers that tricked you into playing awful games. 10. No Man's Sky Although indie titles don't usually get too much hype behind them, No Man's Sky was an exception. Touting gameplay that would offer unlimited worlds to explore and endless potential for discovery, developer Hello Games convinced everyone they had made the next Minecraft-level hit. But if you remember, this is not what we got on release day. As if you could ever forget. Fueled by a reveal trailer that teased unseen ideas and possibility in the sci-fi genre, No Man's Sky became infamous for the overpromising and deliberately ramped up hype brought on by project head Sean Murray. It's unclear whether he oversold his game purposefully or if his own excitement got so carried away that he could never fulfill any pre-release guarantees. Whatever the case, the game got a lot of flack for being far less than expected. The reason why it's so low on the list is that the 2020 version of No Man's Sky is a far cry from its release version. With massive free additions that included true multiplayer, massive content updates, and even a VR mode, this title is actually one worth investing in nowadays. It definitely deserved all the flack that it got, but don't shy away from praising the developer's commitment to do right by players in the end. 9. Crackdown 3 Crackdown 3 is an interesting title to ponder. A third installment of a franchise known best for simple, straightforward fun, where the only new idea was one that nobody believed could be achieved. Yet, it was difficult to really say whether there was much more to Crackdown 3 than promised cloud-based mass destruction. As it turned out, that was their new idea, and it still didn't really work out. Despite numerous delays across several years and the increased potential offered with the Xbox One X, Crackdown 3 looked and felt like a lost release from last gen. That hyped-up destruction element was in multiplayer, but lacked any impact and felt crushingly disappointing. The final product, unlike its initial concept, seemed to lack any ambition whatsoever and just sought to be functional. The most intriguing element of Crackdown 3 is if, by itself, it was ever as interesting as it seemed, or if the sheer number of delays is actually what made anyone give it a second thought. 8. Agents of Mayhem Fans of Saints Row may have been mixed on the direction that the series ended up going, as there was some excitement and strong potential in that wacky universe being continued through a different lens. Agents of Mayhem sought to encapsulate G.I. Joe-type cartoons through its characters and premise, with the twist being its R-rated Saints Row influence. What a shame it is, then, that all of this personality and fun is nowhere to be seen when actually playing the game. While the three-character loadout is a fun, somewhat strategic concept that promotes experimentation, it can't save the complete lack of mission variety that cripples any long-lasting sense of entertainment. After short bursts of combat, every character boils down to guy who shoots slowly or girl who shoots fast. None of the creativity that elevated Saints Row's weaker gameplay components was present. Any semblance of story was harshly shoved aside, allowing for the boring, repetitive gameplay to take center stage. Hardly the franchise starter that Volition was hoping for, Agents of Mayhem lacked what made the developers' previous titles worth experiencing. 7. Mirror's Edge Catalyst a sequel to one of the most underappreciated titles from the previous generation, Mirror's Edge Catalyst was a second chance for developer DICE to jumpstart this unique title, centered around first-person, fluid free-running in a visually striking world. Try saying that three times in a row. Catalyst's story trailer teased a major addition that its predecessor lacked, a story. And not only a story, but an emotionally driven one centered around pulse-pounding action with a constant feeling of momentum pushing everything forward. Well, what the trailer failed to illustrate was that the game's open-world structure would essentially foil all of these components and make it a disappointingly dull affair. The first Mirror's Edge was unquestionably short, but that was because there was no fluff, just pure adrenaline and quality. 
Here, there is so much downtime and quiet in between each event that any momentum is lost long before the next story beat. If the game had a far tighter focus and structure, perhaps it could have been a worthy sequel. Unfortunately, with a campaign that lacked the punch of that story trailer but had nothing really to do but run mission to mission, Catalyst was a massive missed opportunity. 6. Rambo the Video Game Unlike others on this list, here's a title that is so uncompromisingly awful that purposefully misleading trailers was the only way they were going to sell any copies. Rambo the video game seemed like such an out-of-date project to push for, and it was. However, that doesn't mean that it couldn't have been great, especially as the trailer kind of hints at what an entertaining PS2-era Rambo game would look like. However, you may be less likely to enjoy yourself upon realizing Rambo the video game is an on-rail shooter. See, the trailer makes it seem more like a free-range FPS, and you'd be forgiven if you got duped by it. Admittedly, their task was tough enough, trying to make this game look vaguely entertaining, so they admittedly had to lie a teensy bit at minimum. Nevertheless, it was utterly shameless work done by whoever cooked this up to try and swindle unsuspecting fans of the license to buy this nonsense. 5. Halo 5 So, uh, where is this version of Halo 5? It seems this version of the story is vastly more interesting and engaging than the pretty lame offering in the final game. Yes, Halo 5 is easily the most technically sound and well-made title on this list, but it lacks any of the heart or depth that the series is known for. It's clear there were some rewrites and creative revisions throughout development as the hashtag hunt the truth marketing campaign was completely ditched after a short run. It is a shame too, because even if it meant some divisive reception from fans, trailers like this illustrate just how much more fascinating this campaign would have been. It could have been this franchise's most daring installment, yet ended up being its most forgettable with characters that don't leave an impression and gameplay that often doesn't feel like you're playing a Halo game. 4. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds Xbox One Battle Royale titles have taken the industry by storm, albeit in the form of a couple of successful titles and numerous others attempting to replicate that success. PUBG has had its fair share of success, but it's difficult to really say that it measures up to any others in the genre in terms of quality. This problem increases tenfold when you hit the console version, which is a far cry from what this trailer will make you believe. Even if you boot up the title on your all-powerful Xbox X, the game's dismal graphics and its buggy, toothless combat will immediately turn you off to playing more than a match. There's just a disappointing lack of any real hook to playing PUBG on consoles. Nothing about this trailer is representative of any moments you'll have in a match. A whole lot of quiet and nothing will make up each match, leading you to getting randomly sniped after 10 minutes of just seeing nobody. 3. Anthem it really is a shame what has seemingly happened to Bioware's output in quality recently. While they earned a glowing reputation among gamers throughout excellent story-driven RPGs, things haven't been as smooth in recent years, with Mass Effect Andromeda facing heavy criticism. However, Bioware went on to reveal Anthem, an extremely promising title that's part Iron Man simulator, other parts a gun-centric sci-fi RPG. And while it does truly feel exhilarating to go flying for the first couple of times, the complete lack of any compelling content to really latch onto beyond these flying sections is what ultimately killed Anthem's long-term appeal. While the trailer sells the flying, exploration, and story as several components of a great whole, the final product was harshly lesser than what the footage teased. The world felt disappointingly empty, and the majority of gameplay quickly grew repetitive, and stayed that way. Without a compelling story or cast of characters to engage with, Anthem simply wasn't worth your time. It is in the process of being supposedly redone completely, but even if it pulls a no man's sky, the damage has already been done. 2. Dead Island Look, if there was an award for best cinematic trailer, surely Dead Island would have taken it. An emotionally stirring, heartbreaking trailer chronicling, in reverse, the exact moment a zombie attack tears a family apart, you have certainly seen it at this point and may have fallen victim to it way back when. But the level of quality here can't be understated. It's just unfortunate that the actual game is nothing like this. Oh wait, sorry, there are zombies in the trailer and the zombies in the game, so there is one similarity. Other than that, the real game centers around mindlessly taking out endless zombies at this beachfront resort. Minimal story, bare-bones NPCs, and efficiently dull combat, it is fair to say it didn't hit the heights that it could have. It is a comparatively bad game to other titles, and still fits the bill for this list. While Techland did hit their zombie stride later on with Dying Light, their efforts with Dead Island weren't ever going to possibly match this trailer. 1. Fallout 76 
At this point, more than a year after its initial release, what is left to say about Fallout 76? Fallout done in a similar vein to Elder Scrolls Online is a pro concept and could work if done with the right commitment and vision. The fan base may have not chosen an MMO style for the next Fallout title, but perhaps they could be swayed. How about utilizing an admittedly great live action trailer centered around that nice, positive, relish the post apocalyptic chaos feeling Fallout 76 is supposed to make you feel? Bethesda's constant affirmations of, come on, it's more Fallout, mixed with great marketing like this, meant that some were convinced to check it out. Well, as it turns out, that trailer was likely the only good thing about Fallout 76. From a mythically buggy launch state that never really went away, to its weak combat, absence of story and NPCs, as well as fully operational predatory microtransactions, this title was a colossal failure on all fronts. Never mind what damage this title has done to the franchise, especially when you compare it to the dangerously low public opinion of Bethesda now. Convincing people to give the company another chance after this will be a whole lot harder than making a good trailer or two. And the conned fans can guarantee you that. And that's our list. What are the trailers pulled a fast one on their audiences? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture Gaming. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and come back again soon for some more false gaming advertising. Thanks for watching.